evening, how is everybody doing? And welcome back to the channel. I know it's been probably about a month, maybe a little bit more since I've uploaded a video, but um, as you know from my last shoulder, or my last shoulder surgery, my last video, I had some shoulder surgery. And, um, and I also told you in that video, you know, I just got back from PRI show and stuff like that. It's gonna be a little box right up there. You can click on that and watch that video if you'd like. Um, anyway, I had some difficulties with the shoulder surgery. Uh, I had to go back in and have another surgery. So I had my first one on uh, November 20th. And about three weeks later, almost three weeks later, my bicep ruptured. So I had to have another surgery on December 14th. So um, I've had quite a bit of pain from that. And I just haven't been able to get out here in the garage and do anything. I do still have a one pound lifting limit with my right arm. So I've got some new stuff in and just was going to take a few minutes and install those, show you another little new tool that I received and um, how it works. Uh, what I have here, uh, if you remember right, the video that I made to where it says how to make your black plastic black again, I originally thought that these were a bushwhacker product, but they're not. They're actually a company called Bullring. And these are actually a tie down system that goes in your steak pocket. And if you remember right, you know, I was doing my my black plastic black again and all that. I thought those tie downs were actually made by Bushwhacker. Um, they are not. Uh, one of the guys on Instagram, I had made a post and they come back and said that truck would look awesome with some bull rings. <clears throat> well, I started looking at their product and I noticed that the tie downs that I had on my truck looked a lot like theirs. And I noticed on their website also that they have a no bull warranty. So one of mine was cracked, uh, the plastic. The plastic, all it does is hold that on the top of, the, on the top of your, uh, your bed and then it gets clamped with the metal right there on both sides on the inside. Uh, you can see I have one of my old ones out there and that just goes up and tightens. I had set something down on top of my bed rail and busted the plastic. Um, set it down pretty hard actually. So <clears throat> it was you know, the fault of mine, but anyway, they have a no bull warranty. Uh, I called them up, they were great to work with and they said, yeah, we'll send you out six new ones, no problem, because the other ones are also faded and I just wanted them all to match. that and their new ones have their logo so I can advertise more for them. <clears throat> so anyway, these are rated at right around, or more than a thousand pounds. The metal in your truck is actually going to give way before their product will. Um, you know, now with that in mind, use your head when you're tying stuff down. <sighs> yeah, they're rated at a thousand pounds. You know, you can put your motorcycle on the back of the truck. Uh, and, and stuff like that and tie stuff down but let's be honest don't put you know a 2,000 pound gun safe in the back of your truck and expect that to hold their products gonna hold but it's gonna rip it out of your steak pockets you know your, your metal in your trucks gonna give way before their product does um, they have some other new products coming out they have some tie downs coming out so if you get a chance go to their website and check them out uh, it's a pretty cool website uh, it goes through and shows you how to install them, just like what I'm going to do. And also they have, um, if you have a truck with steak pockets, they have a tie down to fit it. So also in this video, why don't you let, please let me know in the comment section how it sounds. I'm also trying out a new mic on my camera and um, we're gonna see how that goes also. Uh, so, you know, with these, with that being said, what you need to do is loosen those up just like so and they're gonna drop right down in place like that. And then just pull them up and tighten those. So we're gonna go through and put all these. So basically all you do is you just kind of rock it in there and set it just like so. And I'm gonna make them so they're all facing the right way. And to make this process go just a little bit faster, I'm going to use my Impact. And that's all there is to it, to put those in. So we're gonna go around and put the rest of them in. Okay. 
It really is that simple. You tighten up two screws and that is it. You can see that all six of them are in just that quick. So if you get a chance, I'm gonna put a link down below in the description to their website. Check them out. Go online to bullringusa.com um, and order up some of their products. They're pretty inexpensive and they're a pretty nice product. Uh, I have them in all six to eight pockets of my truck. I noticed on some of the Chevys, some of the Chevys must have a pocket like down on the inside right over there. And one of the guys on the website had their bull rings inside the bed right there too. Um, kind of like, you know, the Dodges have them, the holes in the, in the bed over there to where you can pull the plug out to do tie downs. And they also have some right over there to where you can tie down in the back of the bed. So online, I found another tool that I liked. You guys that follow me on Instagram already know what this is. This is called a clamp tight. And what it is, is a, basically it's a wire hose clamp tool. You take stainless steel wire, you wrap it around the hose and this tool tightens it up and you bend it over to crimp it off. What you have is this little tool right here. And this is one of my oil coolers for one of my mowers and I have to put a new one on this mower here beside me. So we're going to use this tool and crimp these wires off. So we'll just take and put the hose on there first. Hose is on there and then I'll cut it to length. You take your wire, you cut off enough wire, and this is 041 wire, and this is stainless wire. Um, in the kit, you get a roll of wire and a tool, or you can buy things individually. Uh, also, their website will be in the link below, or a, a link to their website will be in the description below too. But it comes with a wire nut if you want to stick that on there. You just even up your ends. You cut enough wire off to wrap around your piece four times, then plus add a foot. So what you want to do is you go on there and loop it one time. And this is for, I'm going to do a double loop on these, or a double wrap on these. There's several different wrap styles you can do. And forgive me because I have only used this tool one time, and that was, I took it to work to show some guys. You go around again. You come up underneath the pins on that side and on that side. And you twist everything together. And then you start tightening up. You gotta straighten out your wires like I just done and just continue to tighten everything up. And then to Crimp it, you just bend it over, loosen it up, pull the tool out, cut about a quarter of an inch past your bend or past your loop. And bend them over. And that's all there is to it. So like I said, this is only my second time using this tool, but uh, I like it a lot better than hose clamps. Um, you know, with hose clamps, you have that one spot to where you have more clamping pressure than the other. Um, on this one here, you have 
the same amount of clamping force all the way around your material. So, uh, like I said, you get a chance, go on their website, and I'll put a link in the description below for them also. It's clamptight.com. Uh, like I said, the link will be in the description below. I know guys, this wasn't probably the most exciting video, but it's about the only thing I can do right now. I do have a lot of stuff planned. I have my clutch for my truck that's gotta go in. I've got a unit bearing, a hub bearing for the passenger side that I've gotta put in. Um, I got some other stuff planned also. I need uh, a door latch for the passenger or the driver's side. Um, the cable is busted on the inside. Uh, they're on these extended cabs like this. There is a cable that runs from this door panel or on this inside this door panel to run this inside right here. Uh, that cable will go down and unlock everything. So um, I have that to put in. Um, I've got several videos planned. I've got some performance videos planned. So once again, guys, I appreciate you guys watching it and making it clear to the end. Um, hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up. And until next time, guys, we will talk to you later on. Bye-bye.